by Scars Gaming here, and of course, Mars, sponsored by PC Stats. Sorry, by Panicle. Make sure to pick up these players, guys. You know, Smash Ultimate is a growing scene, and here comes Mars as well, the founder of the Zero Suit meta. Yeah. And you know, it's kind of one of those things, too. Like, it's, it's up to certain players to... A character can be considered high tier, but for me, I honestly will agree. I do think ZSS is kind of a high tier character, and Mars has been able to put in a tremendous amount of work. Sometimes what happens is character loyalty goes a long way, and the fundamentals are really important. Mars is still able to recover even after the Inkling on B. He's able to get away with it, and those bears are actually causing a little trouble, but the roller coming into clutch, but great mash from Mars is able to get away with it. And goes in for the Zare, the down smash, trying to get something down, but Exax getting away with it and a great tech chase into the up special. Excellent job by Mars getting the first stock just like that. Alright, gets that dash tag. Exax looking a little bit here in the neutral. I like the fact that he's looking for an opportunity to get some kind of confirm here, but he missed the grab. Coming right back center stage. I feel like that's where Exax kind of wants to stay at this point in the stage. Up smash, then I'll take it right after the side B. Yeah, but I would take it just like that, but Mars trying to go ahead and get these strings with these arrows. He's calling out every directional air dodge that Exax makes, and he read it using the down spat, but it just barely misses the splash effect on the inkling up. He gonna interrupt that opportunity, but great parry into the up special won't kill just yet though. Nice, dips right back into the ledge here. Up smash, that'll do it with the up especially if that close. That's the one thing I like about Mars is his movement. And in, honestly, in this matchup, what it feels like is that Inkling does have the speed. He's got a little bit of addition with the back air. But the one thing that ZSS kind of has over Inkling is that not only does Inkling, I'm sorry, not only does she have the speed, as much as Inkling, but she's got those disjoints with Nair and Zare and the side B. So she's able to combat Inkling a little bit better. Yeah, doing such a good job. And here comes Neutral Special to be used into the follow-up up, up smash, I should say. Mars doing such a good job and in tech not able to get catched out. So Exax in a bit of a hill to climb and Mars' is so, movement is so slick. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's the movement and the speed to able to catch up with Inkling because Inkling is definitely one of those characters that have great movement, great damage, great projectiles in terms of the splat bomb, able to set up. Not only that, the damage that you take from full jab can definitely ink you and cause you some troubles. I like the fact that he still had that down smash because he would have caught Exact slipping on the getup too. Yeah, and perfectly spaced out knowing he was going to go for the roller, so Mars. In a really good position, he clips him out with the up air, but not able to follow up anymore. And he caught it out, almost caught it. Yeah, if Exax would have been a little bit, uh, that tech situation for Exax was really quite scary because he wouldn't have been caught by that. And this time he does an empty hop, he's baiting it out. Oh my god, Mars! I like it because at that form of bait out against Exax was good in that level because he knows, like, hey, I'm either going to be going for grab or I'm either going to be going for back air. How long do you want to hold your shield? It's up to you, but I already know what my game plan is. Uh -huh. And Mars, he slowly waited for Exos to shield to get smaller just so it can shield Pokemon. Yep, right exactly. Through. And it, it's that fear factor, right? Like I mentioned earlier, like, it's the one thing that ZSS has over Inkling is they both have great speed, great ability to get follow-ups after, gra after grabs. But the one thing that... <laughs> the one thing that ZSS is able to definitely... Uh, do over Inkling is have disjoints and have that back air, have that up air, have the, the paralyzer. And switching over to the school for Inkling, hopefully that's the color counterfeit. Yeah. That we've been talking. Hey, sometimes, about. man, you didn't feel like you were playing with the right color, so you go to the one that you feel much more comfortable. And, but as soon as they say that, Mars, starting out with the parry, but remember, that the Zare is great, but the grab is where the issue comes mm -hmm. in. It's really slow. His side push does a really good job to get people off them, but here comes. Exax, and he's playing a very different game. He's able to get this lead off, but it's Mars is not a player to be slept on because he's doing such a good job trying to get it in that direction of air dodge. I like the fact that he goes for two up airs, comes back on the stage, waits for the direction of air dodge, and punishes Exax for picking that defensive option. And great B reversal, what? but it gets beaten up by that back air. Really mm -hmm. smart play by him. He unable to chain it into anything else. It's that fear, because Exax knows he's looking for a down smash on top of him and into an up special, so he just constantly fears it over and over again. And especially the back air, these rollers are not working out at all. Yeah. Mars with a great whiff punish for having Exax go for side B, and his own side B is going to be the one thing to take care of Exax. I like the attempt to go for the ink at that point because it's going to move um, Mars away from the ledge and allow him to come back, but at that point, Mars kind of had already scouted that out. Yeah, doing the best as he can. He's and you mentioned it earlier, right? He's, his movement is so slick because he wants to make sure he's in and out of Exax's range. He wants to be in his range for the punish, out of it for when Exax comes into his own. Because mm -hmm. anytime he does it, he uses his jab a few times because it's such a fast move to check and see if Exax is slipping a little bit. Mm -hmm. But right now, he just keeps on running away. And great job, Exax catching now this time. 
Oh, and the up smash just clips him out, and here comes the Aerials once again. Exact 43%. Look at this movement from Mars. He's not afraid to empty hop right from mm -hmm. the Zinkling. We kind of saw that in game one. That was the one thing that took the stock, right? His ability to just empty hop and pressure. Not even pressure XX. That was more of XX as being afraid of letting go of shield. It's the respect mm -hmm. that Mars is demanding, and he tries to go for it, and he's forcing out these air dodges. He hits him with the one, two, and then sees what XX will do. Air dodge comes. He'll quickly follow it up. An attack comes. He's ready to cast oh no, the end the line parry. and the parry. I did like the mix-up timing on XX, what he did with the back air there. He went for a double jump, immediately took a kind of mix-up when he was going to go for back air and try to find a way into Mars. Great. Oh my god. But the god. roll after the parry from Mars, I mean, it's pretty tough. He's gonna get hit by off smash. Yep, and remember, this is the top 48 winners qualifier. So whoever wins this stays on the winner's side. If Mars wins this, yeah. he stays on the top 48 winners, and Exax will be sent to the losers in the top 48. And here we go. It's that fastball nair into the up smash confirmed. So much damage coming right now. Exax has, has to feel the pressure at this point. I'm really surprised to see. I haven't seen a Nair into a, <laughs> into a flip kick setup yet. <laughs> I was just about to say, if you got the spike off, that actually would have been really upset. And here comes the parry into the other special once more. XX is being way too obvious with these aerial attempts. He needs to be super careful with it. And here comes the parry once more. Hits and him the with the repeat. Great DI coming up from XX. An opportunity to come back on the stage here and find an opportunity. Oh, no. Oh neutral Lord. get up. You hate to see it happen. Hits him with four up specials in a row. But Exax, all of his movements seem so telegraphed earlier, like we were talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, good stuff coming out from Mars because honestly, he did a really good job of making sure, like, hey, I, I want to make sure that if Inkling is in my range, he's got something to worry about. He's got Nair, Zare, Side B, but not only that, right? XX kind of started slowly adapt. He was looking for some kind of adaptation where he could go for like a double jump and then go for back air. Kind of mix up timing around Mars' shield, but unfortunately Mars was a little bit more ahead of the game before XX could start making that adaptation. And I hope XX looks back at the loss and says, he figures out what he can do. But like I said, ZSS in that matchup seems to be the really dominant threat again, uh, instead of Inkling. And it's not just that, it was that XX, you, you, Inkling players love to go for back air because it's a very safe aerial. Mm -hmm. 